What is up, people? This is T Dino bringing you another Urza Scarlet figure today. It's been a while since I've made a video for my channel. Um, you know, I've been into I've been into some issues and whatnot, but you know, finally I'm back. And what other way than to bring Miss Urza Scarlet with me? Woke up today. Mail lady came by, gave me a real look on my face, and she was like, "Here's your damn package." I'm like, "Sweet swag, got it." Open it up, Urza Scarlet. Let's go. <laughs> All right, today with us we have Miss Urza Scarlet from the Guild Fairy Tale. Um, this particular figure is a one seventh scale pre-painted figure. It is called Urza Scarlet, the battle version, uh, and is manufactured by X Plus. Uh, they also have another Urza Scarlet figure which I did not pick up because like I said in my previous video I didn't like the concept of it um they also have like a whole other like they have like a whole fairy tale lineup like just with Lucy, Wendy, uh, of course Urza, Mary Jane all those other fairy tale characters so I mean it looks pretty good so I like this concept and I'm picked it up for a reason all right Let's begin with the figure review, shall we? Alright, so here's the front box. As you can see, it's pretty pretty nice. Uh, there's like look, flowers uh, on the front that look like cherry blossoms, but I'm not really sure myself what they're called. But uh, it's a pretty nice pattern. As you can see, uh, Urza is in one pose as opposed to different poses. Uh, there's only one pose in this figure. I'm not sure if she's a cast off, so uh, you know, I'll find out later when I play with her. <laughs> Okay, here's the right side of the box. More flowers. Uh, there's kind of like a flower indentation for the window. It's pretty, pretty nice. I like it. Instead of like uh, the uh, common large ass window, you get two different windows with like flower shaped pattern to it. One seven scale repainted figure, Arthur Scarlet. All right, let's go to the back. Here's the back side. Very plain and simple. Uh, nothing that special or anything that stands out. Let me zoom out. Alright. Disclaimers and whatnot. X plus U made in China. Yeah, all that good stuff. Alright, now let's switch to the final side. Now this side we get one uh, big preview window. Alright. Focus. There you go. Alright, now let's head to the top and then let's call it. Alright, here we go. One zone pre painted scale figure. There's a scarlet. And that's it. <laughs> that's it for the box, guys. Alright, now I'm gonna open her up and then show you guys what she looks like outside of her box. Alright everyone, here is Urza Scarlet outside of her box and my first impression of this figure is wow, she's definitely amazing. Um, X Plus did a good job of this figure. I wasn't really you know, expecting it to be that great. I thought the uh, one by Amakuni was amazing, but this one is even more amazing. But the only downside is not a cast off, which I would like to see when it comes to Urza Scarlet figure because you know, you know. <laughs> But uh, anyways, um, this is the battle version of Urza Scarlet. Uh, particularly, I don't know what's the name of the robe. Uh, I don't recall seeing it in the anime at all. Then again, I'm really behind on the anime right now. But I don't recall seeing it in the anime. But uh, it's a simple purple robe, uh, as you can see right here. And it has pro flower patterns on it. And it's purple and it's light purple. So if you do know what this form is called, please let me know. I would like to know because I can figure it out or couldn't find it online. All right, so let's continue on with the fig review. As you can see from the face, it looks like her as a scarlet, of course. It looks, she looks a little bit meaner in this figure for some reason. Um, you know, she's mean mugging someone, but it's definitely okay. You know, she's, she's in her battle form. She's ready to kick some ass, ready to slay some monsters, you know, all in the name of fairy tale. So you have to like, you know, accept the fact that she looks like a mean bitch, <laughs> but she's not. We all know she's not a mean bitch. All right, uh, it's pretty detailed. It's pretty good. The hair is good. I like the hair color. It's really good. Really good uh, dye of the red. And moving down from here, the robe is flower pattern, like I mentioned earlier. And if you can see, there are some like uh, some de some really good detail added to the robe. It's like an effect that shows that she has been in battle like it's uh, it's kind of ripped up a little bit so it's really good effect and it looks really nice so 
So kudos to X Plus for that. Look at that detail right there. Looks really good. Congratulations. All right. Moving down, of course, there's some more patterns and the uh, robe covering her, uh, you know, private area. And there's some holes right here on her stockings, if you can see, which is really nice. Also, uh, it does it does add to the uh, detail of our attention of detail. I mean, there's like four holes in her stockings, which indicates that she was in battle. So good job. And of course, in her left hand, there is one of her swords, her katanas, or whatever you want to call them. She comes with uh, two swords, just uh, just a heads up. And of course, she's wearing green sandals. Uh, the base, I'll show you guys in a little bit, because the base, I think, is the best base so far for a fairy tale character, like in general. So yeah. All right, let me switch angles for her. Real quick, uh, I'll move to this side. There's no, there isn't really like dedicated side. So here is this side or this angle of Urza Scarlet. Uh, the hair looks amazing. Tied up in a bun and then extends to a ponytail. Really good detail. Um, as you can see, we got a nice booby shot right here. A side boob right here. Oh my god. It is a glorious shot. I must admit. It's fucking cash as shit. Uh, holy. <laughs> Alright. Let's move on. Um, you know, more skin showing her, uh, on her legs, more skin showing, and then there's some more details to the stockings being like ripped apart or has holes in them, and then let me zoom out a bit so you can see the extent of the legs. Uh, it's pretty good. It's a pretty nice setup they have going on here, and as you can see the base already, uh, the base has the Ferrito logo on it, and of course her name, and also some more flower patterns, which um, goes hand in hand with the figure, and the... Uh, kimono she's wearing or you caught the or robe whatever you want to call it all right let's head to the next angle which is this side right here now this side is uh pretty classy I must admit nice long hair like streaky long red hair uh, you go you move down a bit you see her uh, bow that ties behind that goes behind her so it's, it's like a yukata or uh, kimono, something along those lines, and there's some more flower prints where you can see, and of course the uh, the bow extends out, so you can see there's some detail on it too. So it does, it does, you know, get disintegrated when it's in battle or it gets torn apart. So that's a good detail right there. Good attention to detail for Xbox. Yep. On the other side, it's the same thing as you can see right here. Same thing. So that's some nice detail. Um, and that's about it. And then you see the other sword that is on her right hand, which she's holding in a different way compared to her uh, left hand. All right, let's switch to the final side. And of course, you get another booby shot. Let me uh, zoom in real quick. Look at that booby shot right there, side boob. Mm, baby, Urza, please, just take it all off. Just take it all off. I'll, I'll, I'll die a happy man. <laughs> All right, here is her. Uh, what's it? Right side, right side. Yeah, and then there's some more rippage to her yukata. Like I said, attention to details there. And of course, here is the sword. And the, can, can, can you see an ass shot? Let me let me see if I can uh, give you guys a little peek of her ass real quick. Uh, I had to take her off the base, but I'll take it off her base and then show you guys her ass later. You know. For my viewers, you need a panty shot at least. Alright, and here is well kind of the front side of her so you can get a good look at what she looks like in her front. So let me focus. Here's the ear. The ear looks pretty nice. I have to admit the ear looks really good. And then let's move down. Nice big chest of Urza, big old chest. That's boobies. Nice detail for the uh bowl that's tied around her waist. And that little gold uh, thread that's tied around it too, that's a nice detail. And of course you see some uh, of her legs, or her leg, her skin, all good. And that's it. Alright. That is it guys, that is it for the entire figure. Uh, just let me... Let me actually, I'll take her off the base so you can see what she looks like. Uh, the base looks like, okay. So you have to be careful or you're going to break it. So here is the base. Let me go for you guys. And so this is the base right here. 
So the base is Urza Scarlet as you can see and then there's some flowers and uh, the Fairytale logo and it's a really nice base. It's the best base I've seen so far. And I think I might have uh, ruined the joint a little bit because I took it off a little bit roughly so be careful alright because it's kind of bent as you can see a little bit bent. So be careful. Alright and of course you guys see you know, the panty shot of uh, Miss Erica Scarlet so here we go. <laughs> There's a nice little panty shot for you guys. Uh, she doesn't, you can't really see her butt or see her ass or anything like that. So, yeah. Yep. Can't really see her ass because it's covered. All right. So, put her back on real quick. I might require some full on attention. Give me a second. All right. Now, my final thoughts on this figure. All right. So. The figure itself, it's really nice, it's really simple, uh, it's not a cast off or anything like that, but it is worth the money that you're paying for. I think she was 8,000 yen if I recall, uh, which is about 70 something dollars now since the yen is weak. But uh, yeah, this this figure is a must have for any Urza Scarlet enthusiast or Urza Scarlet lover or someone who is her husband such as myself. So if you really love Urza Scarlet, I recommend you picking her up. And of course, displaying it with your other fairy tale figures. Um, other than that, I don't have any cons or anything for this figure, except you know, which was, which was a cast off. Um, the con stuff is very simple, and the base is really good. The pros, one of my pros is the base. The base is really good, and it turned out really well. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this big review. Um, like the video for me, uh, comment on it, let me know what you think, and of course, subscribe to my channel. All right. Thanks for watching everyone, this is T Dino, sayonara.